practice? I mean, obviously coming off the game that you had made it tough. What else made it tough? Well, part of it was we played we played less than tough last week. Just to say it as nicely as I can, we 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 played not like we have to play to be successful. And, uh, so. And we, uh, you can't go back and, and repeat the same thing. That's the first sign of insanity is repeat the same thing. So I don't know what our guys saw in Missouri that made them think they could just go out there and go through the motions. So um, anyway, uh, so we, we, we coached them hard. We went back to maybe being a little bit more physical. Um, it was hot. It was a hot week, and we didn't back off on that. So it was, um, it was, it was, it was what, it was what we needed to do to kind of get that bad taste out of our mouth for for doing so poorly against Missouri. And uh, so, I mean, that's it is what it is. So Did you get a sense? Early on, or at some point, that you were going to at least play with that order. Well, edge I didn't know. You know, it kind of started off kind of crazy because we we're getting after them the first few plays. I mean, we're we look like we're on fire, and then we get we stop them on third down and get the penalty, gives it first down, and they can they converted a couple of plays and kind of got a little drive going, and, and uh, so you know it was up and down a little bit. Uh, we. We have got to figure out an answer to when we when we start subbing guys in. You know, we have to, we have to start playing some backup guys in the last part of the first quarter. Or the second quarter we we dropped dramatically. So we've got to we've got to continue to try to figure out a solution to that. So obviously we don't have one um, because it's a huge drop off there. And so we we kind of let them get some momentum and, and get going and then. Um, you know, we weren't able to put. We wouldn't. We weren't able to get a couple of key stops. And, uh, you know, at halftime, we didn't so much make adjustments. I mean, we did a little bit, but it was it was more just doing what we're supposed to do. I think that was the emphasis emphasis from our players too. Because when I walked in there, I heard one of our players actually just telling guys, we just do what the heck we're supposed to do, and then we'll be fine. Does that make you feel good at least from that point? Hey, they're hearing and my somebody, message. Yeah, somebody's <laughs> heard something. Yeah, so yeah, at least I didn't have to say it, because sometimes when it's always coming from me, they it goes in one ear and out the other. I know you had young kids back here, but did you feel pretty good when you got them to the point where they were empty and they were chasing you a little bit? And you had that quarterback and had to make the throws against you? Well, yeah, and then you know what? We executed some stuff down the stretch, uh, some third down stops. We didn't have we didn't have our sub package because when Norwood went out of the game, and it's my fault, I haven't, I haven't developed a backup. Um, you know, just because we're so thin back there, you only have so many guys. So I haven't developed a backup. So we were actually playing with base peak personnel, and then uh, Giovanni Stewart came through, and actually I was coaching him up on what, you know, what he was supposed to do in situations. And thank goodness he's been around the calls and kind of knew it enough. We couldn't go to, to to our super sub, you know, package. We didn't have any enough guys. So we just kind of coached the guys up, and we made some key stops. Uh, we had uh, we had one. We played two man. We haven't played two man, but maybe twice. So it there was the guys did some things that kind of make you feel good as a coach. Now you can move forward because they see that it works, and you know if they do what they're supposed to do, they'll be successful.